Hey, I'm Xiao from Perpetual Protocol. Perpetual Protocol is a decentralized perpetual exchange since 2020. Uh, first, I'm going to um, introduce what is Perpetual Future. You may not, I guess, not all of you know. So in a high level, Perpetual Future is a, a type of a derivative contract that allows user to speculate the future price of an asset without expiration date. But why does this matter? If you look at Binance trading volume, perpetual volume is consistently higher than the spot trading volume. However, this does not extend to decentralized exchange. Let's take a look at uh, what the current status and the brief history. So it's around uh, mid 2020, the first generation perp decks came out. And, and then there are more and more perp decks every year. And around end of 2022, FTX collapsed. At that time, there are many crypto enthusiasts say, it's finally the time for decentralized FTX. It's probably true for spot trading, but uh, it's not true for perpetual futures. As you can see, perpetual future, decentralized perpetual futures market share it's just so small compared to centralized exchange. It's almost neglectable after everyone's hard work after the past few years. But why? It's come on to criticize the infrastructure. It's so hard to use MetaMask, yes. It's expensive, the gas price is high, and it's also um, you know, waiting for a trade for a second. It's just super slow, but after some, you know, thanks to the effort from the collective ecosystem. Uh, we actually, I think we are already reaching to a point that we can offer a seamless experience that users don't need to notice their uh, blockchain underlying. But, um, so will users transfer their phone from centralized exchange to decentralized exchange? If it's fast, affordable, and easy to use? Probably not unless there are some incentive or airdrop. But let's take a step back. Uh, how about decentralized spot trading? How about Uniswap? They all have the same weakness. It's expensive, it's slow, and it even has more phishing scam because after, uh, per me too. But look, Uniswap overpassed Coinbase last year. So, how does decentralized spot trading thrive when they have all the same weakness? Is there something incredibly valuable for a user that so they can overpass, they can overcome these hassles and uh, even their, the centralized exchange is easier, faster, and cheaper, but there's just something that centralized exchange cannot compete. As a decentralized exchange, should we focus on improving the weakness or strengthen our strength. Um, I think improving the weakness is undoubtedly important. But uh, most of the time, a user uses a product. It's not because it has less flows, but it has something that is extremely good in some unique use case that no one else can offer. Think uh, for on-chain trading. Democratized liquidity provision is the key. And that's the strength of DAX. So can we just apply this lesson from spot DAX to perp DAX? We have some experience over the past few years, but the answer is not that straightforward. Let's take a look at the liquidity mechanism landscape. So first, peer to pool model. It's very easy to understand for retails, but it's also quite vulnerable due to its stating nature. When multi conditions shift, and next, peer-to-peer, -peer, and of course, limit order. It's also very flexible, but um, it's just so hard to make it on-chain. Some of the interesting approach, like WARP, W-A-R-P, they have something that was exploring, but it's still very hard and expensive to build active market-making strategy on top of that. And also, range order, uh, invented by Uniswap. Um, we used to think that's the closest answer. That is why 
we built the PERP V2 on top of Uniswap V3. But it's still very expensive and hard to build an active market making strategy and build a maker vote for retails. We do have some hard lessons from running PERP V2 for two years. But from those lessons, we came out with a very simple idea um, that can fix those issues and just, uh, we call this a uh, small liquidity framework. It's PERP V3. Um, it's a generic platform for any liquidity strategy, as long as they can generate a price. So we're coming from the uh, bounding curve and range order, then we move a further step. We abstract the LG stra LP strategy away. I call this, uh, we call this uh, LP abstraction. So uh, what does it look looks like in practice? For example, uh, anyone can build a strategy on top of a very simple constant product formula XYK, and then um, just use this as a price. But most of the LP may not want to use this. Of course, you can also utilize an external oracle. Could be Chainlink, Peace, or even your own private oracle. So it's just uh, very simple. You just use that price to market made accordingly. But what's more than the pricing, the programmable pricing, is you can run arbitrary code on your maker, your strategy. So by decouple this pricing engine from the trading strategy, there are so much so much more things we can do. For example, uh, at the simple cost shows, uh, you can put your idle fund in some lending asset like Aave and earn yield. And you can also, when there is some uh, take a trade with, against with your maker, you can just hedge in another venue. And if we, uh, this example is very powerful that uh, it's something similar to like a basic trading strategy. So, uh, Let's take a look at the basic trading strategy example. So this maker, I mean, the trader Alice want to uh, take a one is long, and this maker running a basic trading strategy, you can just um, concurrently buy one ETH at Uniswap to get one ETH uh, spot, an underlying spot to hedge. And maybe you can optionally add a, a, a spread on top of that price. But essentially, this trader get the same price as Uniswap with leverage. So it's, some, it's something like it can utilize the liquidity from Uniswap with, with very low capital. And for LP, it's also a very low risk strategy that since it's a delta neutral strategy. And it's not only limited by uh, trading between spot and perp. You can actually integrate with every other DEX or even centralized exchange. It's basically bridging all the liquidity from other exchange into the same place. It's probably not new for professional market maker, but it's revolutionary for retail. And since you can have so many strategies, so what does a workflow look like? So um, to provide a better user experience, there will be something like a router on top of all the strategies. And then this uh, UI trader can just use that router to route to the best price among all the strategies. And for bot or smart contract, you can also, of course, bypass this router to integrate with each strategy directly. And what's more interesting thing is the position across different strategies are fungible, which means a trader open a position on strategy A, it can easily close strategy your position on any other strategies. This is not only improving the price, because every, you know, every strategy has its own strength and weakness. But uh, it only creates a new dynamic between strategies, because a strategy can rebalance their exposure between each other, I mean, other strategies. So uh, let me summarize uh, what I've shared about the PERP V3. So um, it appears to pull this model so trader can benefit from infinity strategies. And by having this programmable pricing and hook, anyone can build different kinds of strategies. It could be AM, Oracle Base, could be on-chain, even off-chain strategy. You can hedge or unhedge. So it creates 
it makes uh, it makes us or other like market maker risk as per a lot more flexibility to build different kind of strategy. And we can even utilize this framework to build a retail friendly LP vote to have uh, to welcome the broader audience. So uh, imagine a year or two when someone represents this market dynamic between decentralized exchange and centralized exchange. I hope the chart will be different. And we're going to open source the perp v3. It's not business license like others. So uh, we'll come to take a look and risk as your own risk. I believe that uh, everyone should have a better and transparent trading experience. Thank you. Thank you.